Hey everybody, welcome back to Truth Be Told. I pray that you are absolutely amazing. And if you're not, change it. Are you alive? Are you breathing? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Well, baby, let's open our heart to gratitude. I am telling you that when you start to think and see the beauty that surrounds us each and every day, you're looking for things to be grateful for instead of looking for things to complain about. That's the difference, baby. Change your perspective. Put on your GGs, honey, in the glorious name of Jesus. Because without them, honey, I put my GGs on every day, honey, so I can see everything through God's perspective. Hallelujah. Just in case you need a reminder, right? And your mind is playing tricks on you today, I need to tell you something, okay? This is for somebody. You matter to God. Oh, you matter to God so much. You're important, honey. You are loved. You are chosen. You are redeemed. You're forgiven. You're set apart, anointed, honey. Yes, you are. You're equipped with every spiritual gift. That's what it says in the Bible. You're never alone. He never leaves you. Never forsakes you. Right? He died for you. Ooh, he transported you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. He has given you power and authority and dominion. He says that you have the ability and power to hold thoughts captive. Well, I didn't even read this, honey. I'm just telling you what it says in the Bible. Lord, hallelujah. So, that you're fearfully and wonderfully made, right? That your presence on this earth makes a difference. It does. Don't you understand that you have a supply that only you have? And God created you on purpose for a purpose. I tell this to people all the time. And because we're the body of Christ, we each have a function. The hand cannot function without the fingers and without the the wrist and the elbow that connects. Don't you understand that we are all part of the body of Christ? We each have a function. Stop. You don't see my hand jealous for my foot, what my foot is doing. We're not divided. We got to work in unison. Because Jesus is the head and we are the body. We are to love each other. We are to work as a purpose. And listen to me. If you're not walking in your purpose, then you're empty. And you're trying to fill it with alcohol, with drugs, with men, with women, or even both nowadays. Because you never know. (laughs) The truth is that you only find your identity in Christ. And you walk in your purpose when you know who you are. Because when you look to Jesus, you find out who you are. Then you start to walk, talk, and act like him. I pray that you get this in your spirit today. Because when you love yourself the way God loves you, and you see yourself the way God sees you, it don't matter what other people think or say about you, baby. Because the people that are meant to be in your life will see you through God's perspective, through your GGs, right? Your God goggles. So I pray that you put your God goggles on today, that you start to see people the way God sees them, that you start to love people the way God loves us. And that you start to walk in your truth, man. I don't know about y'all, but I'm looking around and I see so many people anxious and worried. And, and, and you know, listen, spirit of suicide, addiction. I mean, I see it every day. I see people speaking curses over themselves and their family. People, words are important. You got to watch what comes out of your mouth. I pray that you guys start to align yourself with what God says. Start by Start by saying what God says. That's it. And watch what happens. Speak the word of God. Release the rhema word of God. It's active and alive. And watch your life start transforming right before your very eyes. I love you guys. I am on Transformation Trail and Believing Boulevard. Where are you at? Holla.